Hey everybody, it's Henry Steele and I wanted to do a shorter video here to point out a few numbers to you. Fundamentally important numbers, at least in my opinion. Now, if you're at all interested in Gann and you found Gann's uh, wonderful novel, The Tunnel Through the Air, and you believe that in that novel he's coded all of his esoteric knowledge, or a good part of it, then you've probably spent a lot of time studying the book or reading the book or at least reading the book three times like it says here in the foreword. But I just wanted to point out a few things to you and again the idea of this is to give the people who have not heard or seen or figured these numbers out these numbers to start to work with and to show them things that they should be looking for. So uh, we all know or everybody who's looked at the book knows that the birth date of the hero of the book, Robert Gordon, is June 9th, 1906. And we know the last date given in the book is August 30th. Where is it at? Here we go. August 30th, and it's 1932. And this is on page 407, the first page of chapter 36. Okay, so the difference between... Let me pull up the calculator. The difference between those two days, June 9th, 1906, and August 30th, 1932, <clears throat> excuse me, is 9,579 days, which is actually kind of important. If you look, it's 26 years, two months, three weeks. It's almost 26 years and three months. 26 years times 12 is 312, plus those two months is 314, almost 315 months. Which, if you take 360 months, divided by 45, or 8, and then subtract, oh, I just did that wrong, 360 minus 145, or 1 eighth, is 315. So in other words, there are seven eighths of 360 months in the period of 9,579 days. Uh, another thing we can look at is the fact that 9579 divided by 5 is a relatively, is very close. It's four days away from a very familiar number. That number is 70 times 27.32. Why is 70 important? Well, 70 shows up in the Bible a lot. And of course, Gann talks about using the Bible. And you can actually use a lot of the older esoteric works. And you're going to find the number 70 a lot in that. But Gann used the Bible, so that's probably what you would want to source to get to the information most quickly. 70 is important. It's in the book of Daniel. It's actually in the Bible numerous places. But... That's the amount of time, 70 lunar cycles is the amount of time that Marie and Robert were separated, which just happens to be one-fifth of the total amount of time that the book encompasses the story. So that might be considered to be important. Now if we look at this 9,579 again, and we divide it by 686, which you might remember is the orbital period of Mars within one day of accuracy, we find that it's very close to 14 cycles of Mars, which is probably something you should look at or consider looking at. Also, let's not forget the book's title, The Tunnel Through the Year, or looking back from 1940. If we would take 1940, and of course there are 418 numbered pages in this book. If we subtract 418 and we do that three times since the foreword tells us we should read the book three times we get to 686 quite interesting isn't it of course a lot of you already know that if we take that number one more time 9579 and divide it by the synodic cycle of the Sun and Jupiter which would seem to be important considering the fact that the Sun and Jupiter were conjunct on the very first day mentioned in the book, we get almost perfectly 24 iterations of that. It's actually off by, interestingly enough, those four days again. It's not precisely exact, but it's very close. And that's probably something that's very important also. 
Now, I've actually mentioned, I think, pretty much all of these numbers before, but spread out over several different videos. But I keep getting people asking me how they should study tunnel and how can they find all this stuff. And a lot of people, frankly, ask me to do most of the work for them because I guess they don't think they can do it or maybe they don't think they should do it. I don't know. But I'm putting these numbers out here. And I'm telling you, I think that they're important, and I'm kind of hinting at why I think they're important, at least telling you that there's planetary relationships going on here that are either very coincidentally showing up in this book, or that Gan, when he wrote this book, intended you to find these numbers. So... Anyway, the video is right at six minutes long, so I'm going to go ahead and stop it here. Um, <coughs> excuse me. One thing I'll say is that 70 is really darn important, especially in the book of Daniel. Um, the whole tribulation thing that's mentioned in Daniel and, of course, Ezekiel and Revelation, the book of Revelation, that... That actually describes really, really well how Gan actually created his forecasts. Um, so that's something you probably really want to look at. And it's easier to do and more basic than I think most people realize. A lot of people, it's, it's in vogue these days to do, to try and recreate Gan's... Uh, in quotes, high, low, high, low type forecasts a specific way. And I am very much of the opinion that that is an error because of what I've learned from the Bible and I've seen repeated in Gann's works. And if you look at the whole end time scenario stuff, especially in Revelation and Daniel, um, you're going to, or you have the potential to start to realize and uncover what Gann was most probably actually doing to create those forecasts and it's one of those things that when you actually figure it out and you see it it's kind of slap yourself in the forehead simple it's like wow but anyway i'm going to head off to the gym now i really need i'm a little bit late so i need to get going for that so hopefully these numbers will help you and you'll start thinking about that 70 a little bit more so until next time talk to you later